Walid calls for medics to attend to his friend, Majid. Critically wounded in the head during a bombardment by Qaddafi forces on Dafniya, west of Misrata. <laughs> oh Lord, save them, save them, he prays for his wounded friends. <laughs> We were in Dafnia on our defensive positions, Walid recalls. We moved forward and they started to fire rockets and mortars. Was it intense, I ask? It was very, very intense, his friend Atiyah tells me. We hardly have any weapons. What we have are old. They're almost useless. They have brand new weapons. At least eight fighters were killed in the bombardment Sunday, more than 30 wounded. Walid's friend Majid was among the dead. This force, mostly civilians with little military training, managed with NATO's help to drive Qaddafi's army out of Misrata. But now progress is slow. Every day more die. Their bravado sometimes collapsing into despair. <laughs> Nearby, a new, well-equipped field hospital has been set up by the International Medical Corps. They expect more casualties to come. Each 100 injured is 25 dead. So our target first is to reduce the mortality and to be near the front line. That front line is just a few minutes away by car. They're trying to reinforce it. The opposition fighters have moved forward from here, but oftentimes they come under intense bombardment and they're forced back. This road here, this position, seems to be the static line standing for the moment between Qaddafi's forces and the rebels. Those forces, well equipped and seemingly unhampered by NATO aircraft, are just a mile or two away. The fighters here, well aware their modest weapons, may not suffice if the enemy goes on the offensive. <laughs> we're just young civilians with light arms, Salem tells me, but we're armed with our faith, the Quran, and God willing, we'll be victorious. Faith notwithstanding, victory doesn't seem to be coming any closer. <laughs>